Hi everyone, I wanted to do a quick video this morning, a quick reading uh, on something that I've been getting actually for several years and I've not spoken about it to very many people but I think it's time now to actually get it out there. So um, how many years ago? Probably about, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago um, my dream property would have been literally right on the waterfront um, and that would have been my dream property but anyway over the years uh, over the sort of so this would say 10 years ago roughly over a two-year period uh, my, that changed now it wasn't anything from the outside or anything that made me change my mind it was something in here that was going no that's not right that's not a safe move um, you need to be up high, you need to be back from the ocean and uh, up high. And um, so you can see the ocean, though, if possible. So it changed. And I, I, you know, I follow my guidance. So when it came time to move about five years ago from Beachlands to um, the Bay of Plenty, where we live now, we found the perfect property, which was up high. It's 300 um, degrees, I suppose you call it, or meters or whatever it is, I'm not sure, above sea level anyway. I'm not sure what the actual terminology for that is, but I do know it's 300 above sea level and we can see the ocean from where we live. So that's one thing. Also, around about that time, say around about eight, seven, eight years ago, I was also being guided by spirit to get a supply of iodine in, oral iodine that you could take. Now, we all know that protects you from radiation. I don't know what that was about. I just know that they were giving me the heads up that something was coming where I would need to protect myself and I could tell other people about it to protect myself from radiation. Now we know about the, the 5G thing and, and all the satellites that are going up and the radiation that is actually coming from like our mobile phones and all that sort of stuff. But this was more than that. This was like get a supply in and it was also get prepared. So start prepping. So once we moved into this property, we didn't really do a huge amount about prepping. So obviously that urge to do that wasn't really strong at that point. But what I did get from Spirit is that um, we needed to get generators, not just one, get two, have a couple. And then of course you need fuel supplies. Um, so eventually over this five year period, we've got now got two generators, which we, uh, I have actually, we have actually used both of them at the same time when we've had a power cut. So um, that was important. That was a real nudge. I call them nudges. And it's almost like someone's really sort of pushing you. Do it. Get it. Get it. It's important. So that's with the iodine and the finding a property up high away from the sea. And also um, um, the generators. So now, at this stage, or actually, let's go back a bit further. I knew that all those things, and I had this such a strong feeling that all those things meant there was going to be some changes, earth changes. Now, this is not to frighten anyone. This is just so you can get prepared as well. So this is not to frighten anyone. But what the feeling I got was the earth changes was going to be caused by something coming from space. Now, I'm not sure whether it was our sun, um, whether it's something else coming in that's going to cause our sun to do something um, or what it was. But I do have a very strong feeling that it's coming from space, from off planet. It's not. I don't feel it's to do with ET. I know they're already here anyway, so it's not to do with that. It is to do with a natural thing. So a natural event. Also, actually, a natural Earth cycle. 
And I'll say why I'm saying that bit, because five years ago, we moved into this property. And anyway, I'd already booked to go and see Bruce Lipton and Greg Braden speak in Auckland. And um, it was in, a, in January, five years ago. So I went up there and it was an amazing speech. And listening to Greg Braden in particular really rang a bell with me because he was talking about the research that he has done through um, indigenous peoples that are on this planet, but also he has studied the ice cores. And he was saying that every, I think it was like 60 something thousand years, the earth has a shift. And he said that after studying the ice cores, that shift isn't very far away. So he's done a, he did a graph that he put up on a big screen and the graph was up and down, up and down and each up was a big shift and obviously each down was another big shift and it would come back up and down and up and down so that's the the temperature going up and then coming back down again so ice ages and you know the planet heating up and all sorts of things but what he did say was that now we are just on the top so this was five years ago we are just on the top of one of uh, the, the top of this, this graph. So what he said was that he thought that the changes would start in five years time. That was five years ago. Now I'm leading on to something because when COVID came out, I actually thought, thank God, now something's actually happening. But we've gone on for the two years doing the COVID thing and, and the vaccines and all that sort of stuff. And actually, you know, I've still got that feeling that something's coming. So my thoughts are, and I've felt this for a long time now, this, this, I've felt this for a couple of years since the COVID thing happened. And I thought, oh my God, the actual powers that be, so the people that lead the countries and lead this world, know that there's something coming and they've created all of this. I don't want to be all doom and gloom, but to create fear, panic, to be able to control the people, to actually get rid of a lot of people, um, because they know what's coming. And I've had this feeling so strong for the last two years, and I've never voiced it, or only to friends. So now it's time to voice it publicly. I feel that the people that lead this world know that there's something coming that's going to make some big earth changes. And so they need to have control of the public and the people and they also need to depopulate um, people as well so because then it people will be easier to control so uh, like I said I don't want to be all doom and gloom about this I've got my cards here and I thought I'll do a reading on this and just see what comes out I do want to say that these earth changes are necessary and that there is almost two polarities. There is the 3D where the earth changes are gonna be really physical and, and um, you know, even the outcomes are gonna be very physical and all that. But there's also the higher consciousness or the 5D. So if you can keep uplifted, go with the flow, let, trust the universe, trust that you're going to be safe, trust, just do the practical things to prepare. And that might mean moving. It might mean getting a, um, a container and storing a load of food and, and whatever. Whatever it means to you, but get prepared. Um, it might mean decluttering getting a camper van going on the road, whatever it is for you, but you've got to tune into your own soul, your own intuition and feel what is right for you to move forward. So these earth changes are coming. I, I still feel that 
Um, I don't quite know how or what, but I'm going to pull some cards and we will see what the cards say about this. So please give us some information about what is coming to do with the earth and to do with humanity as a whole. Please, please give us some information about what is coming. Bearing in mind that I've been feeling this for quite a long time now. Let me do a bit of a bigger, bigger, um, longer reading for this. Well, for starters, what I'm getting is whatever's going to happen we have to have faith and actually um we really do have to gather with family and it's not going to happen just yet funnily enough i'm actually getting that that some of this is down to the consciousness of the of, of, of the planet and the humans that are on the planet and where we're at depends on what happens funnily enough that's just popped in One more lot. So free will has come out right at the beginning here, and that's what, that's like represents the past. I'm not going to keep them up. Um, people falling out with each other. So that's this is the past, and it's all down to free will again. I think it goes back to um, you know where the consciousness of us is and where the consciousness of the planet is, depending on what happens here. I'm really getting a strong indication now that it's important that more and more people wake up and pretty fast, I would say. So um, I don't, no, I'm not saying going out there and, and, and try and wake people up, but it will happen naturally. Um, again, it's to do with the consciousness of the planet as a whole, and that includes all of us that are on this planet. Um, so yeah, but that's the first cards out and that's the past. Now this is now, so we're, we're literally being guided to take that leap forward, have that leap of faith, move forward, do the things that you need to do, have faith as well. Reflection has come out, listen to the guidance you are given, reflect and learn from this situation and move forward positive outcomes lay ahead. So anything that's going on now, because I know a lot of stuff is coming up for people. I've speeded up because I've actually got a healing at 10.30 um, and it's 10.15 now, so I'm aware of the time. So we're really being guided to, um, have, you know, really think positively. And we're also being said, well done. So a lot of people have taken that leap of faith, which means they have jumped off that cliff into not, not knowing this and woken up and all sorts of wonderful things have happened for people because they have trusted. They've trusted in themselves, they've trusted in the universe and they have taken that leap of faith and moved forward. So the well done has come out with that. Um, Next, this is about gathering with your families. So this can be soul family. It can be, this is all about relationships. It's important to gather with your tribe um, and, and to the point where, um, you know, you can help each other. So somebody might grow veggies, somebody might have meat, you know, can do swaps. Somebody might be a hairdresser or whatever it is, and you can do swaps and um, help each other and communities, another thing is communities are coming out. So this is all about relationships and good relationships.
good time celebrations, do that now. Get together with your family, celebrate. Overseas connection has come in here. In, in here. Um, so this is um, things coming in from outside. So com coming in from overseas to do with family. So it's news to do with family. I also feel it's to do with family moving home and coming back together. So next cards out, we've got the three of swords. So this is broken heart. This is um, changes in relationships, but this is also, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be frustrated, that are going to feel stuck, that are going to feel, um, panic's not the right word, but um, stressed. Um, and it's all to do with the heart because they haven't opened up yet. They haven't um, seen the light, if you like. There is also going to be, I'm getting a lot of information coming in. So there's also going to be truth being revealed, which is going to shock a lot of people. Um, and they're literally being guided to awaken. The awaken card has come up. So this shock and these frustrations and all these things are going to help people waken up, help also people tune more deeply into themselves and into their own soul knowing. Also soulmates have come up here. So this, this um, is about people that are on your soul family, uh, your soul uh, lineage and um, meeting with those people. And yes, sometimes these people come in to teach us lessons and um, teach us uh, more about ourselves, actually. So soul mate has come up there. Soul family has also come up there. So what's up next is the hermit. It's going to cause everyone to. Um, kind of hide away, um, go within, and this is where we need to go. And it's going to create freedom in the long run. And it's literally about taking time out. So time is going to be taken out for us, bearing in mind what we're doing the reading on, these earth changes coming in, and we're building up to that. Time out. So it's going to be like, um, I kind of feel that communications will be cut off, um, and, and, and it's a time to gather with your family, gather with yourself um, and really do some um, inner work, um, but without that outer communication, really time out, it's going to create freedom. And it's about going within meditation, um, but staying calm. So next cards out is... There's going to be a surprise come in. So I actually don't know what that surprise is. This is also the spiritual card. So it means that you have got all the tools and, and everything that you need that's going to see you through. And even though that there will be moments of upset and um, uh, totally out of your comfort zone things, it's they're saying to stay in harmony, but also to have fun. Don't stay in fear don't do the fear thing no matter what happens it's so important to trust yourself and trust the universe that everything is in divine plan so have fun as well while these changes take place so what we've come out next is temperance not sure how to move forward and wisdom so it's Again, connecting in with your own wisdom and you will find the answer forward. Um, so that uh, even now, I want you all to just tune into yourselves, feel into what I'm saying, what about the earth changes and all that, and feel what the right thing to do for yourself is at this moment. When things happen, there is going to be emotional ups and downs and uh, many of us are, won't be sure about how we can move forward. And many probably are feeling that right now, actually. But going within and tapping into your own wisdom is actually going to help you to see how you can move forward. So losses has come out next. There's going to be losses. And it's funny because not funny, haha, -ha, funny as in weird, uh, because losses have come out here and we've got nature and we've got earth energy come out at the same time. So there are going to be losses. Um, so this would be the event coming in, I would feel. Um, it's also going to shock people. So it's something that we've really, really wanted to do. 
and we think we're heading in that direction and something's going to come in to completely change things. And we're going to feel disappointed. We're going to feel like there's losses that have happened. It's like our cups have been spilled. So we're going to be emotional about it. Um, but all is not lost. This is what this card means. All is not lost because behind us, we haven't seen it yet. So in the future, there are, is a path forward and that path is filled with the right pathway for us. So more soul aligned, um, nature has come out here, sit in nature, um, connect into the earth, connect into the trees and the plants and nature and earth energy. This card symbolizes a need for you to put down some roots and stay put for a while, a time to settle down and create more stability in your life. So after this uh, mishap, this upset, uh, it will be time to really get earthy I want to say so it's about going back to basics going back to um, nature natural things um, going back to um, old ways if you like I'll start learning about it now start collecting books go to the op shops start collecting books on herbal medicine remedies um, things you can make at home whatever it is if you don't know how to do any of that stuff now Start going to these op shops and start collecting books that jump out of your what you might need in the future. And I'm not saying it's definite. It's a might because, again, it goes back to the consciousness of the planet. And that includes all of us humans. So uh, we've got now um, movement. So um, this means like um, moving forward. Uh, going ahead with your goals so being restless as well so this being still thing is going to be quite difficult for some um, because uh, we you know it's going to create boredom we have to find new ways of doing things is what I'm feeling here clarity has come out see this situation with open eyes use truth to enlighten you and make wise choices as you move forward uh, prosperity has also come out your life is about to take off in a huge way. So brace yourself and get ready. Success is yours and everything you have ever dreamed of will manifest. So things are going to work out. So this is about money. So when this happens, it's almost like money, money's not going to be important, but you're going to feel like losses around money. Funnily enough, nature connection has come out again. We've got to go back to basics, go back to nature, go back to bartering. Um, whatever it is, please look into it now. Look into what you can do, um, uh, skills or uh, grow things or make things, or whatever it is. Start preparing now. I mean, I've even got knitting and wool in. Not that I'm going to do it yet, but if I need to do it for some reason, I've got it in ready to do. And if I don't need to do it, all well and good. I can either play with it myself at some point or I can give it away to someone who does knit. So just think about what you might need for the future. Good walking boots, good um, wet weather gear, good gear where you can uh, go walking, go outside, raincoats, you know, all sorts of things like that. Um, for your property, yes. Um, um, God, what they call, I'm having a mental block. <laughs> generators, that's what I was trying to think of, generators. Um, so yeah, generators um, to keep your freezers running, whatever it is, think about what you might need. I'm storing food. I, I've been doing that for weeks now. I've got a big stock of food, uh, food that's non-perishable. So I'm also planting garden. Um, so we have fresh food, but I've got lots a lot of food that is non-perishable and I've also got things where I can bake so remember think about what you will need to move forward hopefully none of this happens but be prepared just in case because we don't really know it's a feeling that I've had but then things can change like, you know, all those years ago, I felt like I wanted to live right by the sea. That changed. 
So timelines aren't set in stone. If we as a human population and the animals and the plants and everyone on this planet raise our frequency, raise our consciousness, awaken to who we truly are and all those things, these earth changes might not happen. There might, there will be a change, but it might not be as dramatic as what we perhaps think it might be. So these are the cards that fell out. This is like travel over land. This is the fate card. So again, it's down to fate, whether this happens or whether it doesn't happen, but still there's no harm in being prepared. Um, this is um, like the spiritual student as well. This is also travel. Uh, this is a very spiritual card. Undecided about what to do. We don't know what to do. How, how can we move forward? Is, should we prep? Should we not? You know, um, really undecided at this time. <clears throat> that this, this is to tap into, if you're a woman, tap into your masculine energy, but your gentle masculine energy, your creative masculine energy, your emotional masculine energy. So um, it, it, this is about connecting into your creativity and start building things, uh, you know, like a, um, even if it's outside structures of some sort, whatever you need, start knowing how to do things. And the same with you guys. If you don't know how to mend things, how to fix things, start learning now. It's important we know skills. Again, it's about going back to basics. And then we've got the Nine of Cups, which is feeling very happy and pleased with ourselves and everything's going to be fine and we're feeling very good. So I'm going to leave that with you. I have to go now because I'm doing a healing on this lovely lady. Um, Again, this is not to frighten people. This is just to help you prepare. Whatever this is, it's coming from space. Yes, it could be our sun. I don't know for sure. It could be something that's coming that's going to affect our sun. Um, but I have felt this for a long time that there are earth changes coming. So this is volcanoes, uh, earthquakes. Funnily enough, I was on the South Island last week and I felt an earthquake. There was quite a strong earthquake very near where I was staying um, uh, and we felt it we just just got into bed um, and felt the tremors and the the whole house going just for a few seconds wasn't frightened at all just wondered what it was and then it then it clicked that it was an earthquake um, so there's going to be more earthquakes. Obviously, here in New Zealand, we're in an earthquake zone but the, and volcanic, actually. But um, there is going to be more around the world and even new ones growing, new volcanoes growing. Um, we're heading into a time of earth changes. So please be prepared. Timelines, I have no idea. I can't do timing very well. Again, it, when everything aligns, and like I said, it might not happen because it's down to our consciousness and how we are as a group of beings on this planet, how we treat nature, how we treat ourselves. And at the moment, it's not looking good, um, but this is what it's down to. So we'll see, prepare though, just in case. Um, I want to uh, reassure you that everything is going to work out eventually really well for us when we come through this, because these changes often have to happen because people don't change unless there is a sudden shock or something comes in that really rocks their world. That sometimes is what creates someone to change. So that's why, you know, we can't go on the way we're going, the way we're treating the earth and nature. We just cannot go on like that. Otherwise, we, the earth will totally reshuffle and she will start growing again because she's not going to die. She will start from scratch. She will clear off everything that's on her like she has done several times in the past and she will start growing new life. 
So I'm just going to leave that with you. Start prepping, start doing what you can to help the earth, to help nature. Um, it's very important. There's lots and lots of multidimensional nature beings also in nature that are um, trying to uh, contact some of us. So I'm going to leave that with you. Much, much love. Please don't take this as a doomy gloomy thing because it, it is all going to all work out in the end um, for us. We are making changes and there are many, many people already waking up. It's just that there are some that aren't and they might not. But if we, the more and more people that do wake up, the less likely there is going to be this massive thing happening. So I'm going to leave that with you. I'm going to send you so much love and so much positivity. Keep that high vibe, no matter what I've said. Keep that high vibe. Keep going. Keep moving forward. Take action. Get yourself ready. Much love. Bye for now. Bye.